Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Praises be to the name of the Holy One of Israel. Great is the faithfulness of our Lord, our God, our Savior, and our King. You are holy. You alone are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be adored. Great and awesome are you, Lord. You are faithful. You are the God who watches over your word to perform it. You are the God who decrees a thing and it is established. You are the God who made us the righteousness, hallelujah, of you. You are the God who gave us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. You are the God who made us vessels of honor for your glory. You are the God who changed our story. You are the God who anointed us to preach the gospel of Jesus. Christ to demonstrate miracles, signs, and wonders. You are the God who took bad word cursing uh, vag vagrants uh, and turned them into apostles. You are the God who took fishermen and turned them into mighty influential men over 2,000 years and they are still influential today. You are the God who took a Pharisee and turned him into one like me. Hallelujah. You are the one who caused the devil to flee. You are the one who made a show of him openly, triumphing over him in it. You are the one who took slaves and took away from the mighty army and set them free. You are the one who caused the Red Sea to open up and then to close again over their enemies. You are the God who watches over us. You are the God who makes a fuss over us. And so Lord God Almighty, this morning we come celebrating you, celebrating your fatherhood, celebrating your love for us, celebrating your grace and mercy. We come as a family in the fourth watch declaring that you are our God and beside you there is no other God and if creation see, ah, give you praises so will we so will we but you God Almighty is even now shaking 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 everything that is evil out of our day out of our way you are the God who has gone before us to make crooked places straight and rough roads smooth you are the God who like you did for the children of Israel in Deuteronomy 9 have sent forth your consuming fire into the promised land to clean up our enemies to fire up them oh god almighty and to burn them out oh god when farmers are about to farm on a land they usually send fire 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 to clear the land so that they can plant father we thank you this morning that you are sending fire in the atmosphere fire in the heavenlies fire in the earth fire under the sea to clear the way for us O god almighty that no mermaid spirit no witch or warlock spirit no hey, god almighty no demonic force no principalities and powers or spiritual wickedness in high places shall have any part or lot with us father we start out this morning declaring that you are god holy and righteous awesome and true and there is none like you this fourth what family declares that you are our Lord, our God, our protector, our shield and buckler. You are our strength. You are our present help in time of trouble. You are our healer. You are the one that called Abraham and sent him to a foreign place. And so you are the one that watch over us like you called Moses. Hide us in the cleft of the rock this morning. Hide us in the cleft of the rock, O God. Reveal yourself to us. Reveal your character and nature to us, in us and through us. Lord God, shift the atmosphere over our lives shift the atmosphere of blessing shift the atmosphere of peace shift the atmosphere of grace shift the atmosphere oh god almighty hallelujah for we are not desolate oh god almighty but we are blessed and highly favored we are with you oh god almighty we walk with you and talk with you and though we sometimes go through the valley of the shadow of death we fear no evil we look not to the right or to the left because if you have sent us through then we will go through unscathed we will walk through and come out on the other side and we thank Thank you, Lord God Almighty, that because we will come out on the other side, we will not fear, for your rod and staff comforts us. And we look forward to coming out on the other side, because you have already spread a table before us in the presence of our enemies. You have already anointed our heads with oil, and our cups will run over, so your goodness and mercy can follow us all the days of our lives. And because your goodness and mercy follows us, O oh God, 
we will leave an inheritance for our children and our children's children. We will be blessed and will not stand in the way of sinners nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But our delight is in you. And so this morning, oh God Almighty, we declare our delight in you. We declare our delight in you. We delight in you, oh God Almighty, because we are not desolate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We work in the consolate. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are ambassadors for the kingdom. And so this morning we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, for the many blessings. We thank you, Lord, for the healing. We thank you for the deliverance. We thank you, Lord, for the anointing. We thank you, Lord, for the revelation and the manifestation of your glory upon us. And so we thank you, Lord God Almighty, that goodness is our portion. For you have taught our hands to war and our fingers to fight. You have made our legs, our feet like hinds feet, that we run and not be, not be weary and walk and not faint. And so we thank you this morning, God Almighty, that this Fourth Watch family is welcomed into your presence. Pomp and pageantry. The angels are blowing trumpets, oh God, welcoming us into your presence. Welcoming the kings and priests that you have called to the kingdom for such a time as this. We thank you that this morning you have called a meeting, a meeting of the Fourth Watch ambassadors, a meeting of the sons of God. And I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that we can show up because you have made us sons. You have made us the beloved. You have not caused us to be desolate. You have not caused us to be set aside, but rather set apart. Set apart for your presence. Set apart for your glory. Set apart for your story. Set apart, oh God Almighty, we thank you this morning that we are the set apart group, the set apart family, and we are your beloved. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that the kingdom of God, hallelujah, is not meat or drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. And so we thank you, Lord that righteousness and peace is our portion this morning and we celebrate because we have joy in the Holy Spirit and so blessed be the name of the Lord blessed be the name of the Lord we thank you Lord God Almighty that this morning even at this moment angels have been dispatched to shut the eyes of every spying witch warlock demon or devil whether they come from the marine kingdom or the second heaven Lord God Almighty whether they are roaming in the earth hallelujah as human spirits or demonic spirits we thank you that their eyes are being shut down now that they cannot see what the, what is happening in the fourth watch hour we thank you lord god almighty that the fourth watch family is immune oh god almighty from any curse that is spoken by any witch or warlock any demon or devil any human or otherwise spirit that would desire to destroy us or to speak against us we declare that it shall not be so for only your words can come to pass over in and through us in the mighty name of jesus christ we thank you lord god almighty that this this day every plan of the enemy is cancelled against us for no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper and every tongue that rises against us in judgment is condemned now and always in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I thank you Lord that you are sending angels to everywhere that a Fort Watch family member is located right now in every country on every continent in every space on every place whether they're walking jogging hallelujah whether they're in their office, in their homes, wherever they are, O oh God Almighty, hallelujah, I declare and decree that it shall be so in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so this morning, O oh God Almighty, as you are in that mood of restoration and transformation, I pray this morning, O oh God Almighty, that every person that is not feeling well this morning, every person that is sick, every person that is broke, busted and disgusted, whether it's emotional sickness, physical sickness, whatever ailment, O oh God Almighty, we cancel it, cramp and paralyze it this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare this day, O oh God Almighty, that no weapon formed against your people shall prosper, for healing is the children's bread, for you have taken our wounds, you have taken our infirmities, and Lord God Almighty, by your stripes we are healed, by your stripes, Lord Jesus, we are healed, and so this morning we declare, O oh God Almighty, hallelujah, that Katrina, hallelujah, Katrina, Baku, Shandadabaha, Seke, Toribiandada, her family is healed, is healed of every, every every ache every pain every every wound in our heart we thank you lord god almighty 
that every pain in the hearts of Delia Brown's family, oh God Almighty, are being healed right now, Lord God Almighty. Death is never, death is never, death is never easy to take, regardless of who died. Could be a distant relative. Father, death is never easy to take because it's a void that is created, a space that, that, that in the heart that is difficult to fill. But I thank you, Lord, that you are filling the spaces this morning. You are filling the spaces of Katrina Berry's family. You are filling the spaces of Dale Brown's family. We thank you, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. That this morning you are healing hearts. You are healing wounds. You are healing scars. You are healing mindsets. You are healing souls in the name of Jesus Christ. And you are healing body, oh God Almighty. And so, Lord, we lift up Claudia Ferguson before you. Health in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. We lift up Carl Berger before you this morning. Health in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak health from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. We declare God Almighty that no more, no more, no more, no more. We come against the spirit of death. We declare the blood of Jesus Christ is upon the lintel and doorpost of the people of God and that they will prosper. They will be in good health even as their souls prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you Lord God Almighty that Alexia Hewitt, hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alexia Hewitt is now blessed and highly favored. Hallelujah. 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 And that you are the God who will touch them in the name of Jesus Christ. Cover your people, O God Almighty. Let no sickness or disease take them out in the name of, of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you this morning, O God Almighty. Hallelujah. For Erica Bent. Father, she is going into the, the hospital to do an operation. We thank you, Lord, that if you choose to allow the doctors to operate on her, that they will have angels standing over their shoulders. If you choose not to heal her immediately, oh God Almighty, that they are marveled, befuddled, hallelujah, confused, hallelujah, perplexed, astonished. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that they will be astonished by something. They will be astonished that what they, what they did in the operation, they could not understand it. They never thought of it. It was just that God miraculously did it. We thank you for the miraculous healing, O God Almighty, and restoration of Erica in this season. And we thank you that she shall not fear. Lord, we cover Erica from every COVID virus in the hospital in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord, that full recovery is her portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we want to lift up our sister and dear, dear friend, Juliet Campbell, O God Almighty, in Fort Lauderdale. Lord God Almighty, we thank you that as she has been beset by the enemy, O God Almighty, who is trying to sift her like wheat, causing this, 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 ah, uh, uh, ah, Long virus, yes, that long virus, oh God Almighty, to come upon her. We thank you, Lord, that it shall not be pneumonia. It shall not be COVID-19. Oh, Father God, we thank you that it shall only be a simple draining of the sinus that has caused an infection that, that antibiotics will be able to clear up in no time. But, Lord, you are the greatest antibiotic. You, oh God Almighty, have the greatest antibiotic in your word, in your hand. And so you have already said, by your stripes we are healed. So by your your stripes, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Juliet Campbell is healed. Juliet Campbell is delivered. Juliet Campbell is set free. Juliet Campbell is made whole. And so we stand in the gap for her this morning, oh God Almighty. We will not have to beg you. We will not have to twist your arm. We will not have to cajole you because you have said you have given us power over diseases, sickness and diseases and over all the power of the devil. And so Father God, we use that power this morning and we send it to Juliet. We send it to Claudia. We send it to Carl Bern we send it to Erica Bent and we say, Lord, fa ujeka papa, ashe kumpaya sata, akapa yeseketo. We intercede for them in the realm of the spirit. We intercede for them in the language of the angels. We intercede for them by the spirit of a living God. And we declare, Lord God Almighty, that our testimony shall come forth of your goodness in the land of the living. Father, let your perfect will, let your will, let your will that is perfect be done in the lives of those who are sick and ailing and those who are representing those who are ailing. This morning, we thank you for full and speedy recovery in Jesus name amen and amen and amen hallelujah hallelujah blessed be the name of the Lord most high great is the faithfulness of our God hallelujah we give God glory good good morning good morning on behalf of Marsha Wade and Rowan Wade saying welcome foot watch family this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it 
for we are in it to win it hallelujah for we no longer sin it hallelujah but we win it we now win it because jesus has made a show of the enemy openly triumphing over him in it and he has made this victory hallelujah so that we could walk in that victory we could celebrate the goodness of the lord in the land of the living and so we claim our victory we claim our victory our victory to jehovah rapha our victory to jehovah jireh come on now hallelujah he has released favor upon us through his jehovah rapha jehovah jireh and healing to Jehovah Rapha. For healing is the children's bread. So we claim it. We reach into the realm of the spirit. And we claim it in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on. Claim it for your family members. Claim it for your friends. Claim it. Hallelujah. Because it is there for you. And it is yours. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Great is the faithfulness of our God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I uh, just want to give you a quick testimony as we have prayed for the sick. Hallelujah. Just yesterday, you know, my wife was thinking that she needed something to complete, hallelujah, a project that she was doing, hallelujah, and just, uh, you know, was not anxious, not nervous, but just was wondering, didn't even pray about it, just knew that there was this need, hallelujah, and, and, and someone just called and, and filled that need. Can you believe it? I mean, before we even think of it, before we even desire it, he says he grants us the desires of our heart. But as you get closer to him, as you begin to walk more in faith, and that is why we're pushing this series that we're doing now on the eight pillars of purpose. Because when you are in purpose, man, you don't have to fuss. Jesus must come true for us. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, write that down, somebody. When you are in purpose, you don't have to fuss. For Jesus must come true for us. Oh my goodness. I wasn't even trying. That one just flowed naturally. Come on, guys. Hallelujah. And so we got to be excited. Hallelujah. Because when we are in purpose, God just wants us to agree with him and get in purpose. It is not for him. It is for us. Because when we are in purpose, he just must. Hallelujah. The devil get dust. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. And so this testimony is evidence that when you are in purpose, man, as you even, before you even think of something, something comes up, there's a need and you see it and you're saying, okay, uh, all right, no problem. I'll just pray about this. And God is saying, pray about it. You don't understand. Hallelujah. I, I knew it was coming. I knew I just well, I was just waiting for you to see it because if I give it to you before you recognize that you need it then you won't you won't appreciate it but as soon as you recognize that you need it bam, hallelujah miracle before Jesus knew that he need and Jesus knew everything come on we're not super spiritualizing the whole thing now but when he went out of the building and saw the 3,000 people who were beset by demons and devils, sickness and disease, infirmities of every kind. He knew, hallelujah, that before he asked, they were healed, delivered, set free, and made whole. And that's what God wants for us, man. God wants us to be in purpose, walking by faith, in love. Hallelujah. Come on. Walking by faith, in love, or by love, through faith. Come on. Hallelujah. And so, as we, as we begin to do that, we will begin to see doors open. You know, like those doors in those stores uh, at supermarkets and, and, and department stores. Uh, we have them here in Jamaica as well, where you walk up and you step on a, a, a pad of some kind and the door just open. Ah, treat you like a king. No one is there to open the door for you, but the door opens by angelic forces. I am saying to you, angels are opening doors for us to let us through uh, in this season. And he says, if you will agree with God, and come into purpose begin to walk on the two on the leg the legs of faith and love faith and love faith and love because there is no love if there is no obedience there is no faith if there is no obedience so some persons might be saying so what about obedience i am here to tell you that if you are in faith you are in obedience if you are in love you're in obedience come on hallelujah because jesus said ha ah, on these two laws love the lord thy god with all your heart mind soul and strength and love your neighbor as yourself as you are in obedience to those two commands of love on those two commands lies all all of the laws 613 mosaic laws 
and the prophets everything that the prophets have said both old and new and so love man and faith takes care of everything everything hear what i'm saying to you love and faith takes care of everything and so uh, yesterday I had a great demonstration of love and faith. Uh, uh, there was a, a young lady, hallelujah, who have been having some difficulties, just a challenging time. She's moving to the next level of her life. She's in faith. She's a, a woman of God. And she's, she's just going through or going through. You know that storm where you're rowing and you're rowing, but you're not making any progress. But we just thank God that you're in a boat and we thank God that you have oars to row. And so sometimes you have to keep rowing so that your shoulders will get strong. Hallelujah. Because even when there is no storm, you still have to row and you will get weak if you're not strengthened. And so sometimes God allows a storm. Come on, I'm just getting this revelation now. Sometimes God will send a storm so that you can try your best to row through that storm. You may not be going anywhere or accomplishing anything you only moving like an inch at a time and every time you move an inch the wind blow you back seven inches come on hallelujah and you feel frustrated you feel like you want to give up but know that if you are five miles away from the shore if you are ten miles away from the shore even if the water is still you're gonna need great strength in order to get to the shore you're gonna need great strength to pull the water and to make the boat go and get to shore and so God knows that you are not going to uh, be, be able to, to to row that boat if you don't have strength so he allows a storm to come and as you are as you are rowing and rowing and rowing trying to get out of the storm because guess what you're saying why couldn't he just allow the, the to strengthen me in the still waters let me tell you man you are in, 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 in the still waters, you will not be afraid. You will not be, 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 be trying to preserve your life. You will just be, okay, um, so I'm tired. You just put the oars in the boat and you'll just lay back and relax. Come on, I'm telling you, seriously. Um, you'll just relax. But God doesn't want us to relax. He always wants us to be moving in faith, going forward, believing Him and, and not get complacent. And so in a storm, it's harder for you to be complacent. And so you're always pressuring, pressuring, working because you're trying not to die. You're trying not to let the boat capsize. You're trying not to let the occupants of the boat f uh, fall victim or become fearful and doubting. And so you're working and working and working. And in the midst of that in your heart, you're saying, God, please don't let me die. God, I don't want to drown. God, I don't want this boat to capsize. I don't want my family to die. Come on, I'm preaching to somebody this morning. Your, your family has been in distress, but God is saying it's just a storm. So keep rowing, keep rowing, keep rowing and keep praying. Part of our rowing is praying and declaring and decreeing what do you believe comes out when you're in a storm come on somebody hallelujah this was not where i was going but the holy spirit is encouraging somebody this morning come on come on come on come on and sometimes uh, when we're in that storm, uh, the storm of our children not going the way we're, they, we want them to go, the storm of financial distress, uh, the storm of being kicked out of our home because rent is not being paid, uh, when we're going through that storm, uh, it is God strengthening us, man, because we will not die. Uh, tomorrow will come. And as long as we have life, God has an opportunity to give us a testimony. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So we got to keep rowing and keep rowing and keep rowing because when we keep rowing, we keep growing. Hallelujah. Hey, we need to pray and ask God to give us the strength of mind and heart to keep rowing so we can keep growing. Because when we get to land finally, we will be glowing. Hallelujah. And our testimonies will be showing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 Something is going good this morning. And so be encouraged, man. Don't give up when you're in this storm. Just keep rowing, keep rowing, because you'll keep growing and growing. And the more you're, if you ever seen a bodybuilder, they didn't start out that way. Sometimes they were really skinny and puny, but they spent years in the gym just rowing and rowing and they ended up growing. Hallelujah. And so when you see them on the street in their tight t-shirts, uh, come on now, and looking good, you're saying, wow, I wish I could look like that. Uh, ah, because now they're glowing and their muscles are showing. And so I'm saying to you as Christians, man, we got to keep rowing in the storms. We got to keep declaring and decreeing. We got to keep growing in him so that when we get on land, like Paul on Malita. Hallelujah. No matter what come against us, we will be strong and mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Are you hearing me? Come on, people of God. We will glow because we have grown. Hallelujah. And it will show because the testimony of God's goodness will come forth out of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so we just declare God's mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I hallelujah. We declare God's mind over you now. We declare the mind of Christ. You will not panic. You will not worry. You will not fret. You will not like the disciples before they came into the fullness of revelation of who Christ is. You will not panic and say, Jesus, don't you care that I am not married? Don't you care that I am not financially well off? Don't you care that I don't live in my own house? Don't you care that I don't have a fridge or a fan or a stove? Don't you care that I don't have a cylinder for, for gas? Don't you care that I don't have any food in my cupboard? Don't you care, oh God, that my children are going astray? Don't you care that my marriage looks like it's on the rocks and about to be destroyed? Don't you care, Lord? Don't you care? No, you cannot share that with God. God is not the author of fear. He, for he has not given you fear, but faith. And so if you stand in faith knowing that all of these things God wants to give you, then you have to change your narrative, change your language, watch your speech, watch your speech, watch your speak. Speak only only what inspires God. Hallelujah. Speak only what hires God. Hallelujah. Speak only what fires God. Come on, hallelujah. hallelujah. When we speak what God wants to hear, he stands up like he did for Stephen and he applauds. Come on, people of God. Check the word. When mm -hmm. Stephen said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Hallelujah. Jesus stood up and said, man, you're just like me and I'm just like you. Come on, hallelujah. And so when we speak what God wants to hear, when we declare what God wants to hear with us a miracle he shares come on glory to god hallelujah so we got to practice to speak what god wants to hear so with us miracle he can share come on hallelujah hallelujah bless the name of jesus Woo! oh my goodness that was a real rush hallelujah bless the name of jesus and so today is Healing Tuesday. And so we're speaking even now to the minds of the people of God. Come on, it matters not what position you are in, what level of maturity. I speak to your mind this morning. Father, I thank you this morning for Isaiah 11 and verse 2 when manifesting the minds and hearts and souls of your people uh, as the spirit of wisdom and understanding, as the spirit of counsel and might, as the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. I speak to souls today, God Almighty, and I thank you that souls are being renewed souls are being restored. Thought processes are being changed right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, the heart is the similar as the mind and your word says that the heart of the king, which is the mind and the thought processes, are in the hand of the Lord and you will turn it whichever way you so choose. And so this morning by the anointing of God and the power of the Holy Spirit, I command your mind of fear. I command your mind of doubt. I command your mind to be healed now in the name of Jesus. I release Release up through your nose, through your ears, through your eyes, and through your mouth the mind of Christ. Receive it, receive it, receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, the mind of Christ that you begin to walk in faith and not in fear. You begin to walk in confidence and not in pride. Come on, hallelujah. You begin to walk that when the devil see you, he wants to hide. Come on, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to the Holy One of Israel. We thank you, Lord, for the healing of the mind and the healing of the soul. We thank you, Lord God, that our thoughts are your thoughts and our ways your ways because your Holy Spirit lives in us and your ways come from us and your thoughts come from as words through us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. You are healed. You are delivered. You are set free and you are made whole. It is well. It is well. It is well. Because our God, hallelujah, has made it well. Bless the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. 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 What a good God. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. 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 Did I say good morning to you all? Yes, yes, I said good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning to those in the watch parties. Good morning to those on the various continents. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for the various nations that are represented this morning. We thank you, Lord God Almighty. For all the nations in the Middle East and all the various continents, Lord God Almighty, uh, down in Australia, in England, Europe, all of that continent, Father, we thank you for a blessing upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for North and South America. Lord God Almighty, visit them, visit them in this season. Whatever is happening on the various continents, God, in the Caribbean, Lord, you see and know what is going on. You see and know everything because you have the, 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 the multi-dimensional view. And so we thank you, Lord God Almighty, that everything that the enemy desires to do against mankind in this season even through humans 
Oh God, who think that they are God, who think that they can dictate what the population size should be, who think that they should uh, uh, just wantonly decide who lives and who dies father we thank you that you are the creator of mankind you are the god of all flesh and so we pray this morning oh god that you will visit hallelujah every nation this morning visit the nations of the world this morning especially especially those that are represented by the, the, the Fort Watch family. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you will visit these nations this morning, that you will touch them, that you will cause a move of your spirit to come out of their legs and into the earth. Oh, God Almighty, it will break through and burrow through the concrete and into the dirt. And like Cain's blood, hallelujah, like Abel's blood cried out from the earth, Lord, may the, 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 the spirit and the anointing of the Fort Watch family members, hallelujah, enter into the earth and cry out for your help. Lord, when the children of Israel were in bondage for 400 years, you heard their cry and you called Moses. Lord, send help. Send help in this season. Send righteous help, O God Almighty, so that these nations will under you, Jehovah God, increase in beauty, fellowship and prosperity and play her part in advancing the welfare of the whole human race. We thank you, Lord that these nations are blessed ah hallelujah that you are their eternal father and you will bless their land you will guard them with your mighty hand you will keep them free from evil powers and you'll be their light through countless hours to their leaders oh god almighty every one of them no matter what they believe what they think or who they are you are the great defender so grant them true wisdom from above wisdom to accept that jesus christ is lord wisdom to run their countries oh god almighty with righteousness holy and truth as the foundation hallelujah grant them true wisdom from above and let justice and truth be the portion of the people forever in this land the land that you love hallelujah glory to the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth we give you glory oh god we thank you that you have not only healed our bodies healed our lives you have not only healed oh god almighty our minds but you have healed our land in jesus name Amen, amen and amen, amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Thank Bless you. the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Great is the faithfulness of our Lord, our God, our Savior, and our King. It's amen. time for word. I'm going to do a short declaration before the word. Hallelujah. For the spirit of favor, counsel, might, and power. Hallelujah. Is upon us. For the spirit of favor, counsel, and might is upon us this day. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because of who God is. Hallelujah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, declarations have a, a voice sensor. Come on. Hallelujah. Like a fingerprint. Each person's voice is unique. And so I'm going to ask you this morning to just repeat after me. That way it can be personalized to you rather than me personalizing it for all of us. Amen. So I'm going to ask you to listen clearly and to repeat, regardless of if you're doing something while you're, you're, you're listening to this devotion. Hallelujah. Just repeat after me and declare it in your atmosphere, wherever you are. And it will be as you have said it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For we speak with authority. Okay. Ready? Are you ready? Paying attention. Spirit of favor. Spirit of favor. Counsel. Counsel. Might. Might. And power. Power. Come upon me now. Come upon me now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I shall excel. I shall excel. Today. Today. And nothing. And nothing. Shall defile me. Shall defile me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I shall possess. I shall possess. The gates of my enemies. The gates of my enemies. Today. Today. And every day. And every day. For the rest of my days. For the rest of my days. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The Lord shall anoint me. The Lord shall anoint me. With the oil of gladness. The oil of gladness. Above my fellow. Above my fellows. Today, today, in Jesus' name, in Jesus name. The, fire the fire of the enemy will not burn me, will not burn me or, my family. or my family this day, this day. And, every other day. and every other day. I am immune to the fire, of the, immune to the fire of the enemy. My friends are immune to the fire of the enemy. My, are to the fire my of the family, family are immune to the, friends of the fire of the enemy. As of today, 
As of today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My ears shall hear good news. My ears shall hear good news. And I shall not hear the voice of the enemy. And I shall not hear the voice of the enemy. Today. Today. Or any other day. Or any other day. I will hear. I will hear. The voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord. And him only. And him only. Will I obey. Will I obey. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My life. My life and the lives of the members of my family, the lives of the members of my family are secured in Christ. Are secured in Christ. Now, now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let every satanic checkpoint, let every satanic checkpoint mounted against me, mounted against me and my family, and my family in the heavenlies, in the heavenlies be, dismantled be dismantled and destroyed, and destroyed permanently, permanently in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Every blockade, every blockade, every altar. Every altar that has been prepared against me, that has been prepared against, against, me, my breakthrough, against my breakthrough, against my family's, against breakthrough, my family's breakthrough, in the heavenlies, in the heavenlies and, in the sea, and in the sea, receive fire now, receive fire now and, be and be dismantled in the name of Jesus Christ. You spiritual, spiritual wickedness in heavenly militating. In Against my uh, my, star. my star, I bring the hook of the Lord, I bring the hook of the Lord against, you against you and frustrate your activities, frustrate your activities against me, against, against me, my family, against my, family, against my, against family, my ministry, against, my against, ministry against, those against those I serve and against, serve, those, who against those who serve me. Now, 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 now in Jesus' name, in name Jesus. I receive open heavens. I receive for my life, for my life and, for my family, and for my family this day, this day in, Jesus name, in Jesus' name. I send lightning, I send lightning thunder, thunder and, the Lord, and the hook of the Lord against the evil queen, against the evil queen in the heavenlies, in the heavenlies militating, against me, militating against me and against my family, against my family in Jesus' name. In name of Jesus. Every evil spirit, Every evil spirit equation, the pro, equationing a program. In a program against my life, against my life. I, command you to change I command you to change and to be destroyed, be destroyed. Now, now in Jesus name, in Jesus name. I, speak I speak into the heaven into the headquarters, into the headquarters of, the of the evil programmers and I blow up their altars come on blow up their altars I blow up their altars with the fire of God in Jesus name anything drawing power anything drawing power from me, from me, or sending power, or sending power against me, against me, from the heavenlies, from the heavenlies, fall down and die, fall down and die. now, now, in, the now name of Jesus, in, in Jesus' name, of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Come on, if you have declared that it is so, it is established in the heavens and in the earth, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Call it done, man. This is Healing Tuesday. You got healing. Healing from the body, healing in the soul, and healing in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Feel the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Okay. So we've been talking about a measure of faith and how important that measure of faith needs to be because we go from faith to faith. And so we start out with what is quote unquote baby faith and then we grow from faith to faith as we encounter and experience as we come through storms as we come through situations and circumstances and recognize that hold on a second we can do this we have power to tread upon serpents and scorpions we have power over all the power of the enemy we can pray and god deliver we can say hallelujah and it is established come on hallelujah as we begin to be confident in what that does for us we begin to grow in faith. Yes, David Lord. grew in yes. faith that the, nothing could kill him except what God allows. Yes. And so when yes. he faced the lion, uh, he was not afraid. When he faced the bear, he was not afraid. Yes. Because God was building his faith for the Goliath that was yes. twice as big and twice as powerful as the lion and the bear. Come on. And so when you are going through, man, faith, that measure of faith, you should exercise it that it can grow. Don't be afraid of the lion. Don't be afraid of the bear because a Goliath is waiting and he will not disappear because with you, his wrath, he wants to share. And so he will not go anywhere. So don't try and ignore the lion and certainly not the bear because Goliath is waiting. Hallelujah. With you to share. And so get to the lion quickly. Get to the bear quickly. Fight by faith. 
so that you can be strong. That when you see Goliath, you will stand confidently and say, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Who is this demon that has just accidentally, because it must be an accident, come into my house? Who is this demon that has sought to, to try to test me by coming into my, my son or my daughter? Who is this demon that is trying to take over my husband or my wife? Who are you, you uncircumcised Philistine? Do you know me? You, you should look again. Because I, like David, have gone through the rite of passage. I have destroyed the spirit of the bear. I have destroyed the spirit of the lion. And now it is your turn. So come on, get ready to die and get ready to lose your head. Come on, hallelujah. But you have to grow in faith and confidence to get to that place. Amen? Glory to God. So that's why we're going through faith with such aggression and, 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 and such confidence hallelujah so we stopped off yesterday at hebrews 12 and verse 2 hebrews 12 and verse 2 because jesus did it just for you hallelujah and hebrews 12 and verse 2 says looking unto jesus the author and finisher of our faith looking unto jesus the author and finisher of our faith that's why we have to be in him and he in us we have to be immersed in him because he is the author and finisher of our faith. The same faith that is in Christ Jesus is in us by the Holy Spirit. And so we don't have to fear. We walk in faith when we are convinced that Jesus, who we look to, is the author and finisher of our faith. And he lives in us. Hallelujah. Who for that was set, who for, the, for that was set before him, who for that, that is our faith, the faith that he wants to give us, the life eternal, the confidence, who for that was set before him, endured, he endured the cross that we might have life and life more abundantly. What is that abundant life? Do you think it is houses and cars and money and all these kinds of things as according to the prosperity um, revelation? No. It is faith. When you have an abundance of faith, when you're walking in an abundance of faith, that's when those things are supposed to come. You cannot sow for wealth. You cannot buy wealth. You can't buy anything from God. It's faith that is the currency. Come on, people of God. Hallelujah. I'm not preaching against anybody this morning. I'm telling you, do not be deceived. God will not be mocked. He said faith is the currency from which you gain everything. And love is the currency through which you share what faith has given you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so Jesus endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. That is his reward. His faith caused him to do what he did for us. And his reward was that he was sitting at the right hand of God. What are some of the rewards? He made a show of the devil and his works openly, triumphing over him in it. His blood redeemed and restored and renewed us from the hands of the enemy into his hands. What a reward. He paid the price and he reaped the reward. And he no longer has to do anything more than just sit at the right hand of the Father and just speak into our, our hearts by his spirit and watch us prosper and be in good health even as our soul prospers. Jesus has already done it all for us because he first demonstrated faith. Hallelujah. And he, by his faith, he opened the gate and we no longer have to wait. All we have to do is just operate by faith. Even the measure and allow the measure to grow. Someone said to me yesterday that every mustard seed of faith can only grow and develop or have to grow and develop in darkness, in pressure. What is darkness and what is pressure? Think of a seed. If you place a seed of corn in the ground, when you cover it, it gets dark. When you cover it with the dirt, the dirt begins to press on that seed and it becomes pressure. Come on, people of God. Come on, get this revelation right now. So sometimes the seed of God is in us, but we don't want any pressure. Sometimes the seed of God is in us and we don't want to go through any shadow of the, of the valley of death. We don't want to walk through no darkness. We don't want to live through no darkness. But I'm here to tell you that if the same principle of the seed, hallelujah, is not manifesting in our lives, we will not come through and sprout and shoot up out of the darkness, out of the dirt to find the light. And when we find the light, that's when we will get it 
planted right, that's when we'll begin to demonstrate might. But you first have to have your root, that, that root that must be grown and sent down in darkness. And so when darkness is, 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 is nourishing your root, light is causing you to bear fruit. Oh, Jesus. Come on, somebody. Write that down. Hallelujah. Darkness. Hallelujah. Darkness and pressure nourishes your root. But it is light that causes you to bear fruit. Oh my goodness. Wow. Hallelujah. What an awesome God. What an awesome God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you want to grow in God, you must go through something. That's right. You must go through a process. You must go through the process of pressure. You must go the process of darkness. Hallelujah. Some of us think that because we are now saved into the light and Jesus is the light of the world, that we will never experience any darkness again. Let me tell you, you are bewitched and deceived. Ah, uh, like Paul said to the Ephesians, ah, uh -huh. who bewitched you? You have been bewitched, man. God has given us light so we can get it right. We have to go and shine that light to those who are, not, who are in darkness. But they have to, the only way they will need light is when they're in darkness. And so everyone must be in darkness for a season. Everyone. But they must not stay there. And so the same way God caused us to come through the earth and come up to his light and begin to get it right. So we must do the same for others. What he has shown us, he has now gone and is sitting at the right hand of the Father. And he is saying, okay guys, I've given you the mantle. You now have the baton. Come on, go. As Asafa said, as, as, as you see him when he ran the third leg at the Olympics. Hallelujah. And he was, you could see his mouth. He was saying, run, Safa, run. Run, Safa, run. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is our best cheerleader. He has run the good race. He gave it to Paul. Paul ran the good race and has handed it to you. Come on, I want you to put your hand back by faith and I want you to collect that baton. And Jesus is saying, run, girl, run. Run, man, run. Run, Anake, run. Run, Millicent, run. Run, Shami, and run. Run Yori, run. Run my Akasotorobo. Run Monique, run. Come on, guys. Run Althea, run. Come on, guys. Run Marsha, run. Run, run. Because only the finish line, hallelujah, is before you. If you run, hallelujah, you will have fun. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so Jesus has run the race, man. And the race is finished. Hallelujah. But now we got to take the baton and just go through the motion. Hallelujah. Because there's no way except for injury that a Safa could have lost that. It was just a matter of whether or not they would break the world record. And so he was just running, running because there was no competition. That's the, way, the race that we are in by faith. We are running knowing that Jesus is already the, the, the author and finisher of our faith. He has already run the, won the race and he's waiting for us to complete our leg. Mm, and so, uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The, 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 the Greek of a reward means to put up with, patiently suffer. Come on, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. He patiently suffered and he reaped the reward in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. And so, Hebrews, remember Hebrews, Hebrews 2, Hebrews 12, sorry, and verse 2 tells us who. Jesus is who has restored our faith. Jesus is who has made it possible for us to walk in faith. He is the author and finisher of our faith. And we have to believe what he says. We have to believe that he is in us and we are in him. We are one with him in the same way he was one with his father when he was on earth. And everything that we saw in, or we see in the word him do we are able to do as well why because he did it because he was in his father he and his father were one at that time and he says i only say what i hear my father say and do what i see my father do and so now it is our turn we now are looking to the heavens we are looking to the earth we are looking to the even the marine kingdom and we are saying i and my savior jesus christ of nazareth yeshua the Mashiach, are one and what i hear him say is what i will do and what i see him do that i will do and even greater works come on hallelujah so god has given us the faith man do not shrink back step up and be counted in 1 John 5 and verse 4, it says, For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. Ah, oh, Jesus. Come on. That's, that should get you excited. If you are born of God, you have overcome the world. He didn't say you are overcoming. 
He didn't say you are overcoming. You have overcome the world. Hallelujah. Past tense. All you're doing is walking in your overflow. You're drinking from your saucer. Hallelujah. 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 I am telling you, man. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. Our faith. Come on. So you have to believe that Jesus has already done it. And by faith, hallelujah, by faith, we can walk in that overcoming victory that Christ has given us. So what is he saying? He says, for everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. This, hear me now, when he says this is the victory, he's pointing to a thing that is the, 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 the currency, the bank card, the check, hallelujah, the currency that has caused you to overcome the world. And what is it? Our faith. Read it in the word if you think I'm joking. Our faith is the currency that overcomes the world. Our faith in what God has said. Not just believing in God, but believing God. And when we begin to believe the word and begin to speak word from the place of faith, you will see that you have already overcome everything that the enemy has put in place. Oh my goodness, that's exciting stuff. That's exciting stuff. But you'll never know unless you practice it. You'll never know unless you do it each day, every day, faithfully, practicing to walk by faith so that you might see that Jesus didn't lie. He overcame the world just for us and we must walk in that overcome and that overflow. I'm telling you, man, hallelujah. First Timothy 6 and verse 12. That's another scripture. He says, fight the good fight of, of the faith. Fight the good fight of the faith. You're always going to have to fight for your faith. The enemy is trying to put fear in you and take away faith. But Jesus has already said, I've not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. You have the power to resist fear. Love, perfect love, cast out fear. And self-control allows you to resist the devil, that he will flee from you. And so you have all that you need for life and godliness. The three pillars that will cause you not to lose your faith. Power, love, and self-control. Hallelujah. God has already given us those things, man. We can do it. And so we must fight the good fight of faith through power, love, and self-control. And as we fight that good fight, we will begin to see the benefits of the blessings of the Lord. It says, take hold of the <coughs> eternal life which you were called and about which you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Hallelujah. Let me tell you this. As you begin to walk by faith, many people will witness. As you begin to confess, many people will begin to witness. As you begin to do, to walk in love, to demonstrate power, to demonstrate self-control, people will begin to witness it. Have you ever heard how many people are complaining? Who? Church people? I can't stand them. I don't, I, I, I don't want to go to church because these church people are not good. They're not loving. They're not kind. They have all kinds of excuses. You know why? Because the weakness, the weakness, hallelujah, what they are witnessing in us, people of God, they're not impressed with. They're not astonished by. They're not befuddled by. If Herod was in our day now, he would not, be, he would not be, be, be astonished. He would be like, oh man, they're just like us. We have to change that. We have to change the narrative. We have to change what is said and what is done. It's on us. Jesus is already seated at the right hand of the Father. He is not coming back to do a work for us. He's coming to judge our work. He's coming to judge our belief. Did we believe what he did? Did we believe what he accomplished? Did we believe what he said? That's what he's coming back to judge us on. Hallelujah. We think he's coming back to judge us on sin. But let me tell you this. Unbelief is the biggest sin. Hallelujah. It is unbelief why we blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. So some persons who are theologically sound will say, but no, the Bible says that uh, blasphemy against the Holy Spirit is the only sin that you cannot get forgiven for. Let me tell you this. It is unbelief that allows you to blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. Come on, people of God, this higher level that we're operating at now. Anything that is not faith is sin. And so if you are not walking in faith, Jesus says, when I come, will I find faith? Hallelujah. And so we have to walk in faith. 
Practice faith, believe faith, execute faith, and faith is word, and word is faith. Hallelujah. If you are in faith, by word, you will never be late. And everybody around you will appreciate. The witnesses that see you, the witnesses that speak to you, the witnesses that testify of God in you will not have a negative word to say. Even when they are saying, Cho, you're too spiritual. Cho, all you talk about is God. That's not a bad thing. It might sound like a bad thing, but it's not a bad thing. And so the only thing they had to say bad about Jesus was that he said, he will tear down this temple and in three days build it up again. And that's the way, the word that they crucified him for. When he asked them, for what will you crucify me? For what will you stone me? He says, if not for the words that I speak, then for the acts that I have done. They could find nothing in him. The same way Satan could find nothing in him, man could find nothing in him. I am here to tell you today, if, the, if the, these three pillars, hear me carefully, are in you, in your daily walk, love, faith, and word. Hallelujah. Those three pillars, love, faith, and word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will never be defeated. You will never be defeated. But you'll walk in the fullness of the victory mm -hmm. that Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior, died on the cross mm -hmm. to give us. Run the good race, man. As, a, as you say and said to a Safa, run, 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 Safa, run. Because it wasn't about losing anymore. It was about going after the record. Mm -hmm. What record are you going after? Mm -hmm. A record that every person in your family is saved. A record that every person in your community is saved. A record that every person in your country is saved. Mm. Billy Graham is responsible for over a million souls. Mm. If you were to go after one million souls like Billy Graham by the Spirit of the Living God in your country, it would make a huge impact. I know if I were to be able to accomplish that in Jamaica, 100% of Jamaica would be saved because I'm not trying to save those that are already saved. And we have probably about 750,000 Christians already in Jamaica. And so if I went after a million or more with our population size, you would call it either 90 high percent of the entire population would be saved. Is that impossible? No, it's not. Because Billy Graham is credited with that. Reinhard Bonnke, the great evangelist, is credited with way more than a million. Way more than two million souls. Come on. He saved a million souls in one, in one, one trip to Africa. Hallelujah. And so don't tell me it's impossible. Don't try to tell me that my God is dead. I just spoke to him today. Hallelujah. Nothing is impossible for our God. And if you look at it in that same context of what God has already done, you will get excited and encouraged man to go and to be and to do for his good pleasure. And so all it requires is love, faith, and word. Love, faith, and word. And what Reinhard Bonnke did, what Billy Graham did, what all the others Reinhard have done. Is 77 million souls. My God, Reinhard Bonnke is credited with 77 million souls. 77 million. That is Jamaica, the entire Caribbean. <laughs> Come on, spill over into North America, into Mexico. Come on, 77 million we would land on the tip of Florida and begin to move like the <laughs> like Christopher Columbus, but with a better mandate and mission. And we would travel through the entire North America all the way up to the top. Hallelujah. Come on, guys. It sounds like a joke, but I'm not joking. God has called you in the same way. Reinhard Bonnke was once in your position. He was once a baby, didn't know what his purpose would be. Billy Graham, 2.2 million souls. He once was a little boy who never knew his purpose, who never knew what he would do by the power of the Holy Spirit. So, so are you, man. Come on, people of God. Nothing is impossible for us because Christ Jesus lives in us. The same spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead mm -hmm. dwelt in Billy Graham and Reinhard Bonnke. And many others, you know, I'm not dissing the others, but there's none on record that has as many has been credited with that many souls as these guys. And you might say, okay, well, I am not Reinhard Bonnke. I don't have that level of faith or that level of 
of connection with the Holy Spirit. That might be your position, glory to God. That might be your position, but it's not God's position. You're 1 million, you're 2.2 million, or you're 7, 7, 770 million. Your 77, 77 million might just be 7. Come on. It might be 17. It might be 170. It might be 1. Once you have gotten a number and you are confident and comfortable that you have brought a soul to the kingdom, you cannot be cast out. You cannot be judged negatively for your walk. Your work will not go up like stubble, but will like, be like fine gold. Yes. Amen? Hallelujah. Awesome. So come on, man. Aspire to be like Reinhard Bunke and, let, and, and, and fall below that. Aspire for 77 million souls and fall to 7 million. Oh, glory to God. Because yes. that would be still something to celebrate. But don't aspire for 7 and then fall out of heaven. <laughs> I can't help myself. Sorry, guys. You know, I love you guys. All right. So, our time is up for this morning. That's it for Word. Hallelujah. I hope you heard. Hallelujah. Become a nerd for the Word. Pray in the Spirit at least an hour a day. If more, if necessary, or if possible. Hallelujah. Read the Word for at least half an hour a day. Hallelujah. And go out and play. Practice Word, man. Fight those lions and those bears because Goliath is coming. Listen, we are going down, and I'm saying this quickly now, so please pay keen attention attention so you can hear me we're getting into a time where where, where where coronavirus was just a sample an example of what is to come because before christ comes if you read the book of revelation there's going to be trials and tribulations and wars and rumors of wars and all manner of things that will happen that will test the faith you will won't even have access to your bible in some instances they are planning to outlaw the bible when the when the antichrist comes there are going to be things man that you 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 you, you think no coronavirus has has quarantined you and locked you up and shut your mouth with mask a hey, this pales in comparison to what the antichrist have in store what the devil have in store for us and it will happen a lot of it before christ raptures or come for his people and so i'm saying to you get ready get ready get ready come on begin to press because you don't want this thing to catch you by surprise hallelujah hallelujah if it catch you by surprise you'll be under your bed making noise trying to call someone else but god will say you were not wise hallelujah Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Come on, let's time for communion, time for communion, time for communion. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Get your communion. You ready? Have your communion. Bless the name of Jesus. I notice I don't see any new, mem new, new persons. Don, you stop inviting people. Come on, Stacy, invite some people. Come on. Hallelujah. We need some new people so we can bless them up and pray for them. Glory to God. Okay, communion. Father, we thank you this morning for your good hand upon us. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you paid the price for us at Calvary's cross. We thank you that your body was bruised, battered. You took the chastisement of our peace upon you, and by your stripes we are healed. We thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness of our sins in action, thought, or, or words. We repent even now where we have transgressed your rules, your laws. And we ask your forgiveness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sanctify and consecrate these emblems even now. May they be representative of your body and of your blood. And may we be strengthened, empowered to walk in the authority and power and dominion that you have given us by eating of your body and drinking of your blood in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the, the body, the bread, he broke it, he blessed it. Yes, he did. And he gave it to the disciples and he said, Eat, this is my body, broken for you. As often as you do it, you do it in remembrance of me. We eat ye now the body of Christ in remembrance of him, that our body will become one with his body. In the name of Jesus Christ, eat ye all of it. Hallelujah. 
And likewise, he took the cup. Likewise, he took the cup and he, he took a drink. And he said, and he blessed it. And he said, drink, this is my blood. The blood of the new covenant. As often as you do it, you do it in remembrance of me. Drink ye all of it by faith. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I want to just take two seconds to just welcome Kadeen Lang and Damian Deslandes. Hallelujah. I have a friend who's called, who, whose last name is Deslandes and he pronounces it Delon. Hallelujah, Delon. So Damian Delon. Hallelujah. Is that, that's Bernard's brother, that's Prophet Bernard. Bernard. I wonder if you know Prophet Bernard. Delon, hallelujah, but whether you know him or not, man, we welcome you this morning and we give God glory for you, we give God glory for you, hallelujah, Father, we thank you for Kadeen and Damien, we pray that you will bless them, that you will shake every evil out of their day, that you will cause blessings and favor to be their portion, that Lord God Almighty, you will cause an anointing to fall afresh upon them, that they will elevate and expand it and enlarge and may they fight the lions and the bears that they need to fight in this season that when the Goliath comes they will smile and, uh, <laughs> and defeat him with ease in Jesus name Amen and Amen and Amen Hallelujah Hallelujah Oh Kadeen is watching from hospital bed Kadeen in the name of Jesus Christ rise up and walk rise up and walk in the mighty name of Jesus, I speak to you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I speak to your muscles. I speak to your organs. I speak to everything in your body. I speak to your nerves. I speak to that Goliath that is trying to hold you down. rakata. I command you to come out of that hospital in the name of Jesus Christ. As Lazarus rose up and came out of the tomb, I declare that they, the nurses will take off those grave clothes off of you, Kadeen, and you will. Rise up, come on, Kadeen. You're feeling fire now. You're feeling fire now. Fire now. Fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. No hospital thing around here. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Kadeen, rise up. Rise up now. By faith, we command it to be so according to the will and purpose of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 We cancel every death assignment that has been sent against you. Hallelujah. Like Hezekiah, you shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. We declare it so and done as a family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Fort Watch family, for praying for Kadeen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. We declare it done. Hallelujah. And so now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. So that you will wear the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth as his bride. Without spot or wrinkle in Jesus name. Have a wonderful day. Go forth and have a good day God's way. For the Lord has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the God that is my Father guide, guard, protect and bless you richly today. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you. Love you guys. Have a great day. Tomorrow is Prophetic Wednesday. Be in prayer. Come on. Pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. Because when Prophetic Day comes. We want to be prophesying. I want you to start getting the habit now of practicing to prophesy on Prophetic Wednesday in particular to members of your family. Anyone that is up, mm. prophesy to them. And, and later on in the day, just say a prophetic word, an utterance, a, an encouragement to somebody, man. Practice to prophesy yeah. because the Spirit of the Lord is the Spirit of prophecy mm. in Jesus' name. Bless you. Remember the challenge. Pray in the Spirit. Read the Word and go get heard in Jesus' name. Bless you, man. Love you guys. Jesus love you. And we love the whole owner too. Alright. Bye. Tomorrow. God willing.